This is your pump, your filter, your multi port, your heater, and your auxiliary pump. Okay, we're going to start with where the water comes from and where the water returns to. This is considered your primary valve. This valve controls whether the water comes from the bottom, very bottom of the pool, the two drains on the bottom, or the very top of the pool. This is your secondary valve. This controls from which of the top does the water come from, or both. In the current configuration it's in now, it is in, everything is open. By turning the primary valve, I'm controlling whether the water comes from the top or bottom. In the neutral position, and the handle pointing towards the pump, everything's on. Same thing with this. If the off is in between the two valves, it's sharing. That is one, this is the shallow skimmer turned off. That is the deep skimmer turned off. You'll notice that the handles, when I turn off the main drain, none of the handles go past 180 degrees. So you can't make the mistake of starving the pump for water. I can shut off the main drains or shut off the skimmers completely. Now I'm running all the water from the bottom of the pool and back to it. So again, this is neutral, everything is on. This is just your shallow skimmer off. When vacuuming, this, is, this becomes important because we need to identify where we're going to vacuum from. We shut off, in this case we're going to vacuum from our deep skimmer, so in preparation of vacuuming, we shut off our shallow skimmer. It takes it out of the equation. Now, let's identify all the equipment for the vacuum, and I'll set up the vac. Let's first identify all the equipment. You have your vac pole, the hose, vacuum head, and the pressure plate, or what is known as a vac plate. You start with putting your vacuum head on your pole, pushing in the two tabs, and aligning those clips. Next, you need to identify which is the swivel end or fixed end of your vacuum hose. This side, you see, swivels. This side is fixed. It does not swivel. It's important to identify the swivel end and put that on the vacuum head. If you put this on backwards, it will suck air and it will not work. Take the lid off the deep skimmer. Take your vacuum hose now, put it down in the water. Extend the pole. And what I like to do is I like to pinch the vacuum head up against the main drain so that the pole doesn't walk into the pool on you while you're feeding the hose into the water. That's an important step, is to displace the air that's in this hose. So what we're going to do is we're going to take it, roll it out, and while we're next to the skimmer, we're going to take this hose now and we're going to push it down the wall. And you simply push the wall, push the hose down the wall like this. Right into the deep end. Now you know you've done this correctly when you get to the end and water comes out. Okay? Take your pressure plate, your back plate, put that on here and turn it as you push it to seat these two. Put this down on here, on top of, with your basket in place. Make sure the strainer basket is in place. Okay? 
Now, if you try to vacuum at this point, you'll have absolutely no suction. So what we have to do is adjust the suction now. Now, we're back over to the filler, and you can see we've shut off our shallow skimmer prior to turning, putting the pressure plate with the vacuum on. So now what we're doing is our, our deep skimmer is open, and we're going to use the main drains on the bottom of the pool, and we're going to throttle those down. Listen to the pump. Do you hear the strain, the, the change of pitch in the, in the motor? That let, lets you know that you're creating suction. You're straining to get water. All right. Back over to the pool. Okay, you'll know you have good suction, proper amount of suction, by simply doing one test. What you want to do is you want to take your vacuum, and on this slope here, you want to put the vacuum head down and push the the pull forward. Now, sometimes it's very difficult to push when it's close to you, so don't try to hold it over your head. The lower angle you get, the more leverage you get. So it should resist you when you push forward, and when you pull back, the vacuum head doesn't float. If it floats, add more suction by throttling down the main drain, turning the off tab towards the main drain. If it's where you're fighting it, you have too much suction, allow more water to come from the main drain. It's that simple.